everyone, welcome back to my channel. So last week when cleaning my room I found the most boring and basic tiny little box thing I have ever seen. But I got really inspired to do something with it since the clasp opening lock thing, uh, I don't know, felt like a pirate-ish thing. So I had the idea of making, transforming it into like a treasure chest. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> So I started off with cutting apart my, my poor little sketchbook cover <laughs> and I basically uh, cut off tiny stripes or strips. I tried to make them all even but that well that felt horribly. Then again in the end result it's not even that noticeable. So I glued those parts on the chest on the edges and cut them like diana dian diagonally ab <laughs> What? So it has more of like a, I don't know how that goes, those types of wood that are cornered. I forgot to cut them open at like opening parts, so at a certain point I couldn't even open the chest itself. Anyways, I did make that same mistake again, so that's a pro for me. So then the next morning, after most of it dried and when I opened it, a... Great. Anyways, it was a quick fix and then I was back to cutting and gluing everything that I missed and more cutting and more gluing. Also, there's a print on those edges, aka the destroyed sketchbook cover. But don't worry about that because I'm going to paint over it later anyways. For the top, I like rounded them before gluing them on. So I hoped it would stick better, but that didn't happen, of course. Anyways, I let that dry a little bit before I started painting. I did the first background layer just basically round. I didn't really care about the color yet. After all, it changed like entirely, so... <laughs> And this part is kind of weird, but just have faith in me, okay? It's gonna look good in the end. So I used a piece of thread that I painted a little to help it stick. Uh, and I also painted the area where it would go so it would stick better. And then I made like a swirl thing. It was like a very thin but 3D type of detail, I guess. And then after that, I started to create a couple more colors. I had like a yellowish gold and a gross green. <laughs> But I painted those on and it made it a lot more like exciting and detailed and interested. I also painted the lock, just it created like a rust thing. It happened at first by accident and I was like, oh, that looks pretty old and cool and all that. Anyways, this whole like extra detail step is like one of the most important ones that brings the whole everything together. So take all the time you need for this step. I felt like something was missing, so I took an old looking necklace ball chain thing and just glued that on the inner corners. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but look look at the video. <laughs> Anyways, it really gave like a... I don't know, it just, it, it just finished it, you know? And then last but not least, I spent some time here to use uh, acrylic varnish. I put that on like the inner boxes-ish areas. Officially varnish is for um, protection, but I just use it because it's shiny. Anyways, so I let that dry completely. And I have to say I was pretty proud of it. How, mostly how I turned it into something that looks a lot better than the beginning and gave it like this whole old and I don't know, 
rotten look, I guess. <laughs> but I quite like that, so I love those type of details. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, 